Hey guys, happy, what day is it? Where's my phone? Saturday, happy Saturday guys. It's the weekend. I'm cramping so bad today, so I'm about to pop this Advil. I hope you all are having a good weekend. I've got some stuff to do today. A couple of errands to run, so I figured I would put myself together. So I want to turn the camera on for a couple of reasons. Number one, I got some new lashes. I got some cat eye lashes. So I'm excited to try those out and obviously I want to show you. And then the second thing I want to do was talk a little bit about my new business, Daily Decor. So um, I do get asked a lot about starting a business, building a business, brand, YouTube channel, etc. Which, by the way, guys, I do have an ebook available on my website for, I can't remember how much it is. It's not expensive, though. I think it's like either two or three bucks. But I thought I would just give you a little bit of background about how Daily Decor sort of was started and came to be. And as always, I'll link everything I'm using down below. This is the edge control I use. Um, Hair by Half put me onto that. I'll link it down below as well. So Daily Decor was started. Well, I shouldn't say started. The seed. <laughs> The seed of Daily Decor was actually planted back in 2019. Yeah, I know. If you've been following me for a while, you may remember uh, the summer of 2019 for me was quite an eventful one. It's when my ex-husband decided to uh, have an affair and leave the country and ghost me. And one of the things, one of the first things I did was after getting a lawyer was uh getting a real estate agent <laughs> so i sourced obviously a black real estate agent and i found one who i love and who i loved working with and i decided to go with him and he came over for an assessment it was actually quite a beautiful home that i had owned and people had always complimented it when they came over but the actual house itself was beautiful you know what i mean the design architecture and building itself and I feel like I didn't give myself enough credit for the home that I actually had turned it into, if that makes sense. But hearing it from an actual professional, like a real estate agent and stager, felt different, I guess, hit different. And it kind of gave me more confidence in my decor abilities, particularly because they were so elated by the fact that they finally, and I quote, finally, got a listing that they wouldn't have to do anything to, like... They were like, your home is already naturally staged perfectly. Like, you don't have to make any changes. Even preparing for showings, they were so impressed because, you know, I would prepare the house for showings, which would include obviously cleaning, making the beds extra fluffy. I would also turn on jazz throughout the house, like on a low, low volume on the surround sound speakers. I would also do a simmer pot right before I left on the stove of like cinnamon, cloves, oranges. Um, ginger to make the house smell like baked goods and then of course I would you know take it off the stove before I left and then leave they would come in and be like really are you a professional <laughs> so they really gave me that confidence boost after I sold my home the same real estate agent assisted me in purchasing a new one which is where I am now I decided to start an Instagram page and you know all of my pages are Tony Daly. I had a page for my pet Marley Daly. I have a series on this channel where I cook called Daily Dish. Um, you know, I love my last name. I'm proud of my last name. And so I kind of put my last name in everything. So I decided to name my Instagram page Daily Decor. And I started that Instagram page to document um, everything related to decor in this new home in terms of shopping for new furniture and you know sharing deals that I found and different stores that I love now one of the people who started following me on my decor Instagram page lo and behold was my real estate agent <laughs> and he was actually also impressed with what I was doing in this home so he contacted me to sort of bring me on board which was like that was super super confirming and i was so flattered and like excited about doing something new i really i really am grateful for that experience it showed me a lot of the other side of real estate which i do find very interesting i did some staging i did some decor some decluttering on various properties um 
that he had listings for. It's really early long days and it's a lot of heavy work so that was taking up time and so you know daily decor in terms of like showing my personal home sort of took a back seat and I started sharing a little bit of what I was doing um, in terms of the staging. And because I was sharing online, I did actually end up getting a couple of my own clients, like not through my real estate agent, but through just from sharing um, of just people who were looking for help, general help. Um, you know, either they had a room in their house that they just couldn't get to work or function, or they had like an odd dead space in their house that they just couldn't figure out what to do with, or they loved my style and they were really interested in redecorating a room and they wanted my opinion on it etc etc so i did get a couple of clients um where i did more like consulting there was one project specifically that i was working on where i redid a front foyer and uh instead of a regular console table we sort of went with a unit that has drawers and that had drawers and shelves because the client needed some extra storage space and so on top, I decorated it with, you know, a decorative bowl, some candles, hung a mirror. And I just wanted a little something to add some height on one on one side. And instead of going out and purchasing something, I just made something. I shared a little DIY on my channel a while back. I don't know if you guys even remember this. But yeah, I just wanted something same day. I didn't want to have to go hunting all around the place for it. And that kind of sparked something in me that made me think okay what if i made decor you know because i got different types of clients it made me really aware of the fact that i didn't enjoy staging for real estate maybe what i enjoyed was the consult coming in the walkthrough and the endless possibilities that go through my mind i enjoyed sketching things up for people and being like this is what you should do move your bed from that corner and put it in the middle and you know there were certain things that i realized i really enjoyed more than others and so i decided to stop staging and um that little light bulb spark that was ignited i decided to focus on that and start researching and sketching and making products like decor products by that time i had already built up my decor instagram to over 3,000 followers and i decided just in case this goes anywhere let me purchase a domain name so i went to purchase daily decor unfortunately dailydecor.com was not available so when you go to purchase it they'll offer you a lot of variations that you could use instead i didn't like all the variations so i purchased dailydecor.ca ca of course being for canada so that's what i purchased and that domain sat and sat and sat and sat and sat girl i talked myself out of it so many times i mean i did end up creating what i thought was going to be my flagship product and then i thought well i can't launch with one product so i started designing a second product and then i said well i can't launch with two products so let me create another one so i started doing another one then I stopped and I was like, this can't go on forever. This can't go on forever. Why don't I just add a decor tab on my main website, TonyDaily.com, instead of creating this new brand, you know, like people already know my website. People already know my name. What's the point? And it's probably going to fail anyways. This is me getting in my head. But eventually I pushed myself out of that negative mindset. It took over a year for me to do it. And I decided not to just add a decor tab on my website, on TonyDaily.com, because at the end of the day, decor and earrings, wigs and art ship very differently. And um, it just didn't make sense. So the logistics would have been a nightmare. And I decided, no, I'm going to keep them separate. So I finally said, forget it, three products or one product I'm going to launch. And I finally launched and didn't even end up telling you guys until after it was already launched because I was just so, you know, I just needed to do it. I just needed to kick myself in the butt and do it. So that's what I ended up doing. And so that is how Daily Decor came to be. So I finally ended up launching with, like I said, three products. I have a sketchbook filled 
with other products you guys so i hope that you'll stay on this journey with me the same way that you stayed on it for 20daily.com i'm really excited about this one some of you guys have been here for literally a decade you've watched me grow from sitting in my um bedroom um doing earring hauls because you know i've always been a, a earring junkie to buying homes like we've grown out of our parents homes together i went from buying earrings to buying decor and buying furniture and so i feel like my audience has grown with me and so that's why i wanted this brand to to be the grown version of tony and to sort of um reflect more of a i'm a grown woman you know what i mean vibe so i hired a virtual assistant she designed my logo for me she designed my website for me i'll link her down below sister black owned of course so this is my logo which i'm super happy with i feel like it looks really sleek and really grown like i said and this is my business card it's got the qr code on the back i love it um so yeah that's the story of how daily decor came to be let me put these lashes on girl you know what else is really great about these lashes the cat eye lashes is that there's no mistaking which is the right lash and the left lash because obviously it goes from shorter in the corner to longer at the end sometimes with these lashes that are really even and fluffy sometimes i don't be knowing girl sometimes i really don't be knowing like i was saying earlier i will definitely be adding um products like i'm excited to see how the brand does how it grows um i have so much ideas up here for products that i'm excited about um i just sort of want to test the water with the first three i'm also going to be offering virtual services like i said design consulting so i'm working on adding that i'm just sort of working out the packages the packages that i want to offer and um i'll let you guys know once it's added to the site if any of you are interested so i have a few things on the agenda for today um i need to go to michael's to pick up a couple of craft supplies pretty pretty eyes. shine the light on whatever's worse last night i sang that to keisha's baby and we watched the the uh we watched the video together so i feel good about that introducing her to her first beyonce video music video you gotta train up the future beehive you know What I need to do is start laying everything out before I hit record because that's what you're supposed to do as a makeup artist. <laughs> I have many hats. I hate this mascara, but it's the only one I can find right now, so let's do it. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to head to Michael's, pick up a couple of supplies, and then I'm going to go to the grocery store because Hair by Half has requested smothered chicken for dinner, so smothered chicken she shall get I'm sorry that was my weak attempt at a southern draw so i apologize to all my southern americans so since i'm gonna be outside and the weather is so nice you guys we had a extremely warm winter like toronto the weather's so nice outside like people be outside so that's why i decided to put myself together just in case i run into my future baby daddy Get myself together for the very next day. But when I see you, lady, I forget what to say. Your eyes and hair are such a beautiful tone. What was I saying? Ooh, girl. You cute. You cute, girl. Um, Have I shown you guys the new earrings that I made? I'm pretty sure I showed you these blue lightning bolts tonydaily.com but i don't think i showed you these did i these are so cute but before i head out for the day i figured since we just finished talking about my new brand we could go downstairs and drum roll please pack my first order together i got my first order for daily decor my new brand i'm so excited let's go
back because I just had to show you how my makeup turned out after I sprayed it with setting spray because I forgot to do that. Um, so it still looked powdery, but now it looks all nice and glowy. And then I decided to do one ponytail instead of a half up, half down. And just pull out some of my little curls. And then I'm just wearing my earrings, TonyDaily.com and my, um, my Lauren Hill t-shirt. This is available in my Tee Public uh, shop. Pull my chains out. And I'm just wearing some joggers, nice and comfy. Comfy cash. Whip up my appetite 